We are talking all things Facebook groups and how to actually get noticed in them, especially when there's a flood of comments, you're relying on this to get clients, so why aren't you actually getting noticed? and what you can actually do about it to make sure that you are getting attention in these Facebook groups and you're actually getting traction and you're getting results from them fundamentally. So Facebook groups, as we know, if you're an online service provider, it can be an amazing place to find clients and it can get really crowded in there at the same time. We know there's a lot of groups where there's tens of thousands of people, there's you know hundreds of comments on posts, there's some which will get a hundred plus and it can get really wild in there. And also we really want to make sure that we are putting in time that is getting us results. We're not just commenting a lot of posts and we're kind of getting lost and we're not really getting noticed and we're not really, you know, getting the attention of our ideal clients. That's what we're really going to talk about today. How you can make sure that you are, you know, out of what those posts which have 100 plus comments, you're actually getting noticed and actually getting seen because there is so much potential from Facebook groups. But to get any of that potential, to unlock any of that, we need to actually make sure we're getting noticed in the first place and people are actually paying attention. And this is what a lot of people I see struggle to do, especially on those, you know, 100 plus comment posts. People really struggle for attention because everyone is trying to get noticed. Everyone is trying to, you know, get that person to hire them, for example, if it's someone looking to hire somebody. And a lot of people are just blending into the sea. So we're going to walk through how you can make sure you do not blend into the sea and how you make sure you actually get attention, actually get people paying attention to you and actually get noticed in these Facebook groups, especially when there's a lot of comments like that. So first reason you are not getting noticed is you are just another comment and you sound like everyone else. They are literally just all blending together. We can see this a lot on those posts with, you know, hundreds of comments. Everyone just blends together at some point and everyone's saying the exact same thing. If it's someone looking to hire someone, for example, all the comments are saying, wow, this sounds great. I can help you with that. Here's the link to book a call with me, etc." And what I would say that is we really need to stand out. We do not want to just sound like everyone else. We want to firstly actually take time to truly connect with people, take time to actually get to know them, actually build relationships with these people. If that is, for example, someone posting looking to hire somebody, really easy way to do this is just take a second, go onto their Facebook profile, see what do they do? What have they posted about recently? What was that trip they went on last week? And just connect and actually take the time to build relationships so they can just see you're not just another generic post saying, I can really help you with this, etc. And here you really want to focus in those Facebook groups of quality over quantity. We're not trying to reach a thousand people. We're not trying to get a hundred new leads connecting with us every single day. If you could just get one really high quality lead every single day, that would change the game for your business, especially if you're selling high ticket. That would be a game changer for you. Just having one really high quality lead who's probably going to turn into a client every single day. So don't try and focus on having, you know, tens of people, hundreds of people that you're reaching. Really focus on quality over quantity here. The second reason why I notice people not getting noticed in Facebook groups is you're not actually selling yourself. You're not actually selling why they should work with you, why they should even care to pay any more attention to you past that one comment that they've got. And what you can do here is actually really focus on what does that person actually want to hear? So for example, if it's the post talking about, you know, I'm looking to hire someone for this specific role, what does the person actually want to hear? Do they care about you posting just a really generic comment saying, yeah, I can really help you with that. That sounds great. Let's book a call together. Or could you be really specific to them and actually go above and beyond to really sell you in particular versus anyone else in the sea of comments? So for example, do you have a client result from their specific industry? I've used this quite a lot where, you know, if someone is in a certain industry and I have a client that I've worked with who has, you know, got amazing results with me and is also in that same industry as them, then actually sharing that in the comments, you know, when I'm commenting saying, yeah, I can really help you with this, sharing, yeah, I worked with a client in that exact same industry as you, we got these results within this many weeks, etc. So they can really see what it looks like. Representative, knowing that you've worked with someone in their industry, and you got them really amazing results as well. And kind of here's a picture of what it could look like for you as well. Also, sharing your testimonials link. I see literally no one doing this and it blows my mind. It's crazy because it's such an easy thing to do. But put all your testimonials together just on a page on your website. And actually when you're saying, hey, let's work together, let's talk about working together, just sharing that link as well, for example. It just goes above and beyond for really just selling your work and just selling yourself. I've shown straight away 
here's an easy way that you can see, you know, these 20 people who have worked with me before and what they had to say about working with me and the results which they got. Thirdly, as I said previously as well, speak to what you can see on their profile. Actually sell yourself by connecting with them and also just selling specific aspects of what you can see, you know, I've worked with a lot of people in this industry, I see you're in this industry as well, um, I see that you have an event coming up, I've helped a lot of my clients with events, those types of things. Anything that you can see on the profile can just be really helpful to actually sell yourself essentially and not just be another comment in that flood of comments on their post. So. Another thing you want to do is you want to make sure that it's really easy for them to learn about you. I noticed so many people not getting noticed in Facebook groups because they make it impossible for people to actually learn about them. You want to make sure that, you know, you have just some basic things like links on your profile. So when someone does see your comment and is actually intrigued, when they've actually taken the time to pay attention in the first place to you, be intrigued enough to click on your profile, do not lose them here. This is not the point that we want to lose them because we've already got them paying attention. So make sure you've got those links on your profile. Make sure your bio shows what you do. Those types of things just make it really, really easy for them to actually learn about you. And you know, if you've done any other posts in that group, make sure they're really relevant, etc. Again, if they've taken the time to actually click on your profile, they are already interested and we do not want to lose them now. It can be very confusing <laughs> if people are seeing you, you know, posting saying, I can really help you with this certain thing, then they go onto your profile and there's absolutely nothing about what you do. They cannot learn anymore. They can't even see the link to your Instagram. It's just really hard for them to see any more about you and we do not want that situation. So overall, as a summary, we want to firstly do a better job of standing out to get their attention in the first place. We want to stand out in the comments. We want to actually get their attention. And then we also want to do a better job of keeping their attention when they do notice you. So that is that final tip there of really making sure we've got the links, we've got the bio sorted, we've got the link to the Instagram or the website, etc. But we just really want to focus on these two things of how can we stand out and how can we keep their attention as well. That is really the secret to actually getting noticed in Facebook groups and actually seeing results from those Facebook groups as well. So let me know your takeaway in the comments below and I will see you tomorrow for another training.